I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, multinodular and vacuolating neuronal tumor. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 35-year-old female presenting after a three-hour episode of impaired awareness, left upper extremity tightness, and stuttering. On non-contrast CT, we see a crescentic fluid density collection along the right temporal pole in line with an arachnoid cyst. On MRI, we see a bubbly or nodular lesion in the posterior right temporal lobe. The lesion is hyperintense on T2 weighted and flare sequences. On T1 weighted imaging, the lesion appears isointense. Given the patient's clinical presentation and findings on imaging, the most likely diagnosis is a multinodular and vacuolating neuronal tumor. MVNTs are a type of benign neuronal brain tumor with specific histopathological and radiologic findings. They are included within the category of glioneuronal and neuronal tumors in the WHO classification of central nervous system tumors. These lesions have typically been detected in patients with non-focal headaches and seizures. Both present in this patient, although have been more often been observed as incidental findings in patients without these symptoms. On imaging, these lesions have almost exclusively appeared as small clusters of nodules in the juxtacortical or subcortical white matter with normal appearing cortex. These lesions are typically hyperintense on T2 weighted and flare imaging. In terms of management, the patient follow up over time have not seen lesion progression or worsening of symptoms, which has led to the recommendation against the biopsy or lesion resection. MRI surveillance is generally sufficient. Excision can be recommended if the lesion is considered causative of a seizure disorder.